What's up, Sports Wars? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video. And today we are talking about Gwen Berry because we have a story about GOP lawmakers trying to have her removal from the Olympic team after her anti-American behavior. Now, will this be another situation where the GOP lawmakers are just doing a dog and pony show and trying to act like they actually care and get up in front of the cameras and scream and yell and talk about how passionate they are about this, but nothing actually happens? Or will they actually follow through? Time will tell. But I just wanted to acknowledge that we have seen this time and time again. I have fallen for it over and over again, where these GOP lawmakers will get up there and they'll they'll yell and they'll they'll scream and they'll be passionate. And you're like, yeah, get them. Yeah, tell Jack Dorsey off. Yeah, tell Mark Zuckerberg off. But nothing actually happens. They're just doing it for the pageantry of it. Either way. We'll see what happens. But here we go. Um, so it says uh, GOP legislators, including Representative Dan Crenshaw and Tom Cotton, called for the U.S. Olympic team to remove hammer thrower Gwen Berry after she turned her back on the American flag during the national anthem, according to the New York Post. We don't need any more activist athletes, Crenshaw said, voice and concern over Barry's actions in an interview with Fox News. She should be removed from the team. You know, the entire point of the Olympic team is to represent the United States of America. That's the entire point. Um, similarly, Cotton said he doesn't think too much uh, to a he doesn't think it's too much to ask to have pride in the United States when representing the country on the world's most prestigious athletic competition. Um, I don't think it's too much when athletes are competing to wear the stars and stripes to compete under the stars and stripes in the Olympics for them to simply honor that flag and our anthem on the medal stand. Cotton told Fox News. Uh, prime time. If Miss Barry is so embarrassed by America, then there's no reason she needs to compete for our country. She should be removed from the Olympics team. After placing third but still qualifying for the Olympics, Barry was the only qualifier who turned from the American flag while the national anthem played in protest. Barry then held up a black t shirt that read Activist Athlete. Barry claimed that she was not aware that the Star Spangled Banner was going uh, to be played during the medal ceremony and insisted that her actions were not planned. I feel like it was a setup. I feel like they did that on purpose and I was pissed to be honest, Barry said referring to the national anthem being played. Shut the F up. My God, these victims are so pathetic. USA, USA Track and Field uh, spokesperson, a spokeswoman, Susan Hazard, said the national anthem was scheduled to play at 5.20 p.m. today. We didn't wait until the athletes were on the podium for the Hammer Throw Awards. Uh, the national anthem is played every day according to the previously published schedule. The fact that that needs to be addressed because this, this uh, SJW lunatic makes these accusations is ridiculous. Forbes further reported that Barry was previously reprimanded by the International Olympic Committee for her protest and placed on probation for a year during which she was banned for any form uh, she was banned from any form of protest. When asked for comment on Gwen Berry, White House Press Secretary Jen Patsky says, told reporters that Joe Biden has great respect for the anthem and all that it represents. He would also say, of course, uh, that part of the pride in our country means recognizing there are moments where we as a country haven't lit. There, first of all, there's, there's literally no way Joe Biden said that, so I'm not even going to keep reading it. There's no way that Joe Biden said that. Not even close. But my thing on it is, is this all about the pageantry of pretending that you're actually going to do something? Or are these lawmakers actually going to have it done? Because, yes, Gwen Berry needs to be completely removed from the Olympic team. Completely. Hold these people accountable for their actions. If you want to kneel for the national anthem when you represent these teams and these you know, companies and they don't want you to do it, you should be held accountable for it. That's what this comes down to. If there are rules, you follow the rules. Stop playing the victim. Like I said, I had a real job for a long time. Worked in retail for a long time. When I worked in retail, I had to wear a uniform. I could not go to work and make political statements to customers. I could not go to work and protest about something I was upset about. I couldn't wear a sports hat on the clock because that's part of the rules. Was it because it was racist? They wouldn't let me, a white man, wear my Alabama football hat at work? No, they have rules. You have to follow the rules. That's simple, not complicated at all. And, you know, Gwen Berry, and there's a, I love that she's getting called out for all of her hypocrisy because, again, as I always say, those that preach the loudest have the most to hide. 
And this is she's just not a good person. A very, very uh, bad person uh, playing the victim because she sees the opportunity to make a lot of money by being a professional victim. Colin Kaepernick has showed a lot of people how you can play the fake victim. You can pretend to be offended over things that you don't even care about and make a lot of money. And then you have these woke companies that'll swoop in and pay you a contract just so you can continue to spew your anti-American ways. Well, you're on the Olympic team. You're supposed to be representing the United States. If you don't like the United States, if you think it's so bad, you should not be representing uh, the United States of America in the Olympics. Very simple. Hold these people accountable for their actions. Hold SJWs accountable for their actions. When they do these things, when they say these things, then hold them accountable for it. If you don't want to be there, you don't have to be there. No one's forcing you to be there. That's it. Will these GOP lawmakers follow through? Time will tell. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video. As I always say, check us out on geeksandgamers.com, our website. You can sign up for free, and you can jump in the forums and have any discussions you want over there. Or for $10 a month, you can become a premium member that helps us grow the site, grow the entire brand of Geeks and Gamers, and it gets you exclusive access to a lot of our content, and we greatly do appreciate any and all support from that perspective. If you do become a premium member, you can go over to the website. You can hit the, uh, as a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll just show you what you can do. You can go over to the website and you hit this premium feed right there. And if you are a premium member, then you can go back and check out all of our past content. Um, and there's 20 pages of content of all of our past streams, and you'll get all the access to that. So if you're interested in that, please do that. We look forward to uh, all of you being over there. Check us out on Locals. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.